Hello and welcome. Today, we're going to break down three types of longitudinal surveys, trend, cohort, and panel. These methods help researchers study changes over time. Let's make it simple and clear with some educational examples. First, let's talk about trend surveys. In a trend survey, researchers look at how something changes over time, but they don't follow the same people. Instead, they survey a different sample of people from the same population at different points in time. For example, if you want to track changes in secondary school students' attitude towards STEM subject over five years period, the goal is to track changes in the trend, but you're not following the same students. Now, let's move on to cohort surveys. In a cohort survey, researchers follow a specific group of people called a cohort who share a common experience or characteristic, like being born in the same year or starting school together. For example, in this scene, we can see the people on the left are the population of our study. Now, there is a group on right side that we can see share a common characteristic, which is all of them were born in 1995. This group is a cohort. A researchers can track this group over time to see how their attitude change. For example, a researcher wants to track the level of media literacy in X city. He or she can conduct a cohort survey where the cohort group will be the people who were born in the year of 2000. The researcher will select samples from the cohort and take data in 2024, 2026, and 2028. But the catch is, the researcher will not take data or select the same person as sample twice. As you can clearly see, different samples will be taken in different times. Finally, we have panel surveys. Unlike trend or cohort surveys, panel surveys follow the same individuals over time, allowing researchers to track how each person's behavior, attitude, or performance changes. This makes panel surveys especially powerful for understanding personal development. A researcher wants to understand the long-term effects of bullying on students' mental health and academic performance. To do this, they select a group of students from different schools who have reported being bullied in the sixth grade. This group is followed over the next three years until the end of eighth grade. The researcher collects baseline data on each student's mental health, academic performance, and their emotional impact. The researcher conducts yearly follow-up surveys with the same group of students. Remember, the sample will always be the same. As you can see in this scene, over the three years, the samples have always been the same people. Panel study is the most rigorous of three longitudinal designs. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you understand trend, cohort, and panel surveys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more research videos.